another episode of People of Manipur. And today with me, I have Pamche Yvon Kassat, who is joining me from Impal, uh, from Nagaram Lokti. But uh, originally, she is born and brought up in Zingsui village in the Ukrul district of Manipur. Uh, so I came to know about Pamche Yvon Kassat from Instagram from her beautiful creation of Tankul Beats. So today we are going to uh, learn more about her work, learn more about her, and also, you know, very excited uh, that, you know, we have such beautiful creation available for us, Tankul Beats. And uh, I see that uh, uh, Pamji is uh, wearing it today too. So thank you so much. With that, I want to give you a warm welcome. Uh, Pamji Yuan, welcome to our show. Thank you so much uh, for having me here, ma'am. Thank you. All right. So I know that you were originally born and brought up in Jingsui village, Ukrul district. You did your master's um, and then, you know, you started uh, having your own brand and started creating uh, Tankul beads uh, with different product line of uh, earring and accessories. So yeah. um, that is a little bit I know about yourself, but I always love hearing about your childhood, about your family, about uh, you know how you got inspired to start your own brand. So let's uh, start with that. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah, mm, my parents are both farmers, and I have three sisters and seven brothers. We are one big family, and I am the eldest daughter and second in the family. And, uh, you know, being the eldest uh, in a family, we have more responsible responsibilities than the younger one and now presently i am staying in nagaram i married to i am married yaruhor hungyo i am officially now hungyo clan uh, on the 29th february 2020 so and presently i'm working in air in fall as a, a dialect announcer yeah uh, and you know, I have in when I was younger, I have lots of um, you know hobbies and interests. Out of those, uh, I turned this handy made uh, handy work, you know, handicrafts uh, into business, and I done this, yeah, and launched my own brand in my name Pam Juwon Kashak Handmade in the year 2019. But I first started making this um, handmade in the year 2016. Mm, but at that time, I, I just made it for myself, not for business and made for my mom and my sisters and for my friends only. I never thought that this handmaid will turn into business but when i met my husband uh, he inspired me and he encouraged me to turn this into business so yeah he helped me a lot uh, to know uh, to turn this into business so he we discuss about how i will start my business and how uh, things will turn like this so I took advice from him and now I uh, you know I can see some uh, you know something changes uh, in this field so yeah That's okay it. Mm. so before we get into your work you said your parents um, were farmers are farmers yeah. so what do they farm yeah, usually we are, uh, you know, petty, petty, petty field. field. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got mm -hmm. it. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, they are still in Ukrul. In my village. Yeah. In, in your village in, in Jingsui. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. eating sea. Okay, okay. Yeah, the name sounds very pretty. I have never had the opportunity to go, but <laughs> I get very curious and someday I am hoping that, you know, I'll get to travel all across within Manipur. Uh, yeah, you know, when sure. I grew up, it was a um, lot of limitation about not going out. And so mm -hmm. I never got to explore Manipur. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, just come and visit our village. It's, uh, you know, nearby Shiri uh, village. Oh, nearby Shiri. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was, yeah not far from Shiri. Yeah, not Shiri from, so not, okay, not far from that village. So you have seen Siri lily blooming then? Yeah, I have seen it. Oh, so lucky. <laughs> oh, you haven't been there, ma'am? No, I have not. Oh, okay, I have seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the time when it blooms, what I hear is it's in May. Is that correct? Yeah, May, May, yeah, May last week to 1st June. May last week to June, yeah. So I'm going to time it and... Uh, that is one of my dream to come. Yeah. Uh, but is that like for Sirui Lily, the flower, I have not really seen pictures of a lot of Sirui Lily growing together in bunch. It is more um, unique and sparse out. Is that correct? Yeah. But these days, though, there are some few, not much mm. uh, Sirui Lily in the hills no there is not much comparing to olden times nowadays okay. only some few flowers are there okay so you really have to search during that time yeah. to go and see one of them bloom yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah yeah it's a huge hill no so we have to go searching the okay. blooming flowers here and there yeah okay okay so what did you, like, how long did you stay in your village before you came to Imphal? Um, okay, till class 7, I stayed there in my village. And after that, I shifted to Ukru down for further studies. Because, you know, in my village, there is no uh, higher classes. I mean, we have mm -hmm. junior, uh, yeah, junior school only, no high school out there so i have to shift to okru for further study and then uh till class 12 i studied in okru this okru down and then after i finished my class then plus two i shifted to infal um, for another further study so this like um, i admitted to dm college for my graduation and after that uh, I did my master in mass communication in the Manipur University. And I finished okay. in the year 2017. Yeah. So how has been your experience like living home very young? Um, because you got out of home after seventh grade, right? And then even though yeah, you yeah. may not be far, you're still staying away from your parents in another town. And then coming to Imphal, how has been your experience? Uh, my journey is not that easy because, you know, coming from very far uh, remote areas to the town is very difficult. Even, you know, the way of living, the way of talking is all different. Uh, since we have different languages, village language is there. So in my village, so we only speak our own dialect own dialect sing sweet dialect no and then when we shifted to when i shifted to ukru i have to speak in tanku which is a common language no tanku common language i have to adapt and learn tanku language and after that uh thing to from ukru to infal another language is you know manipuri manipuri though we have to know manipuri in the college because most of the teacher are teaching in Manipuri. So I have, I face lots of difficulties in my college also because, um, you know, I have been shifting from one place to another and I have to, the first thing is I have to adapt a language. So at first though, I have a lot of language barriers there. Uh, yeah, so, but time to time I learn 
Tangkul, from Jingsui to Tangkul, from Tangkul to Manipuri, and Manipuri to English. So, yeah, um, it's been a. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you so much for sharing that because you know sometimes people, even people within Manipur, forget outside mm -hmm. people. <laughs> okay. We don't consider this um, changes. Right, like for you, when you came out from your village, you were talking in your dialect, which is called Jingsui. Yeah. And then you went to Ukrul, where your village language, your community language yeah. is not spoken. So yeah, you have to yeah, learn Pankul, Pankul dialect. Yeah. So when you were studying in your village, were you studying in English medium or it was in your community language? Uh, it, yeah, it's in English medium, but then they hardly speak English. Got you it. Know, they mix it tanku and in my own mother tongue, and people, uh, our teacher hardly speak English. So, yeah, we have a language problem also. Like mm. Mm, we so are, is you know, Kingsley and tanku mm. very different, or there are. Like you could easily speak, uh, easily adapt to it. Yeah, it's completely different. Mm, but then uh, we, yeah, completely different. And but we used to speak Tangkul in our village also. Uh, mm. But in the school time only. But in got our, it. yeah, uh, between teacher and student, we communicate with Tangkul dialect. Okay, when you were in Jingsui village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. So you were a little bit um, introduced to it, but the language you would write exam was in English. Yeah, in English. We have to read <laughs> okay, and Okay, now I see heart. what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, we have to read it. Uh, we know uh, we don't know all the you know uh, meaning of the words. We have to buy hard it and we have to write it down. Okay, so the mode of exam, the mode of the textbook is in English, but the delivery, the teaching was in Jingsui, a little bit Jing amongst Jing yourself, and, uh, PhD, but with the teacher with Tankul, right? Yeah, and then yeah, after seventh yeah. grade, when you went to um, to Ukrul, mm -hmm. which village was that? Ukrul, the main town, Ukrul. Main town, okay. So yeah. when you went to the main town, then you had to adapt more to speaking Tankul. And yeah. then when you came to Impal, everybody was speaking in Maitailol. And so yeah, you yeah. have to, yeah. But did you know Maitailol when you were in Jingsui and Pan, uh, and Ukul town? No, no, never. We never spoke. Oh, really? But, yeah. There was, uh, we used to watch Manipuri movie, but then <laughs> we communicate, we never communicate with Manipuri. There was no Manipuri out there. There was no Mite in Ukul in our locality. So if there is, only oh, one or two in our locality, we might have sp uh, spoken some Manipuri, but we never did that. But, so it's like uh, I came to different world, like it's completely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then now you are able to speak uh, and understand Maitelon? Yeah, Maitelon, yeah. yeah. I can speak Manipuri more than English now. Oh. oh, okay. Wow. So you, you have learned like two dialects and Maitailol, three English. So you are speaking four and maybe Hindi. Do you speak Hind and understand no, I don't, Hindi a little bit? I understand it a bit, but I don't used to speak Hindi. I've never been to Hindi places. And, okay. So yeah, I don't speak. Okay, got it. All right. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. So you also spoke about, you know, when you came, you had to adapt not only to the language, right, but to the food and the people. So how has people been, right, like now with our uh, chief minister, new chief minister, of course, now no longer new, he has this initiative of go to hell and, um, you know, people of the hills and uh, valley to be more bonded. Um, mm -hmm. So I just wanted to get your sense, since you are coming from Jingsui village, having the experience of Ukrul town and now Impal, how is the 
bonding and acceptance and uh, you know community interaction between the different uh, 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 comparing to uh, olden times i think that it's much better the communication you know uh, between hill and valley people i think after uh, the present chief minister become the chief minister of this manipur i think it's much better i can see it but before well I, when i was studying in cool you know there was lots of problem happening in, you know between hill and people but nowadays i can see a lot of changes and uh really people are coming to hill hill area more often and you know i think the hill people will uh, definitely able to speak manipuri very easily nowadays because we you know uh, travel one place to another uh, they came to vi they came and visit village to village so yeah i think it will it is much better comparing to uh, the old older times okay yeah yeah that's definitely like you know we are grateful to the initiative of the chief minister in creating festival right um, yeah that is also making encouraging people from all over manipur and even outside of manipur to come and visit uh, uh, ukrul and then the surrounding village and uh, i think people want to right people want to yeah. go i actually yeah. for me personally i really want to go but it was just not an opportunity at that time because that time there were a lot of problems not only like in the hills but you know in nepal so we were not allowed to get out of the house and so yeah. a lot of people you know don't get a chance to see the beautiful manipur yeah, so yeah. So there was a time when yeah yeah there was a time when uh, really people don't want to visit your area because they are afraid of uh, our people you know that there is um, a boundary there was a time but now i think there is nothing like that we can move freely yeah even we yep. can move freely in the valley and the valley people can move freely in the hilly area so i think there is the environment is much better much better okay cool that's yeah. very good uh, for us to hear so a big thank you to uh, our chief minister and yeah, his yeah. Initiative. so thank you thank you pankacheri Mm -hmm. um so tell me about your experience on food like you know right now you said in terms of people you know wherever you have gone you even though you had to adapt to the language and food you were comfortable with the bonding and you know people accepting each other okay regarding the food though, uh, there is nothing differences uh, we bought uh, what uh, whatever we eat it's all available in the market so we there is nothing you know i find it no difficulties in adapting the foods and all but regarding you know uh, working in moving from coming from very uh, remote areas and working in town and cities is something i find it very difficult and it's very difficult to you know mingle with the people at first but now i am used to it but before though i find it very difficult and there is a lot of story but so i will share yeah. it afterwards yeah, yeah tell me some story like what is difficult for you um i think ma'am i will share it afterward that though but, okay um, all right so yeah that, that that's fine um i think for me right like when i first went from manipur i went out to um, bombay bombay was my first time i went out of manipur i studied in uh, imphal in little flower school till my 10th standard and then i went out and so for me it was very um different and um you know i was very quiet and very shy and suddenly i went to bombay and all these girls were like they would talk like you know very fast and loud and <laughs> <laughs> so it was it was like um, 
a different world for me, which is why like I wanted to understand from your perspective, you know, how did it happen for you? Okay, yeah. Um, when I first, in at Ukrul though, uh, I don't find any difficulties, like we settle in my own, uh, in our own plot. So we don't settle in, um, yeah, we settle in our own plot. So we are, all our neighbors, all my neighbors are only Tangkul and my family uh, is there. So um, I didn't find any difficulties uh, staying out there in Ukrul town other than, yeah. Um, but when I shifted to Imphal, you know, I was the only one from my uh, family member shifting here for the first time. I was brought here um, with, you know, uh, friends and uncle. Uh, and I stay in the hostel. I was the only one, so I find it very desperate. And uh, because of my language problem, I had to, you know, uh, like you said, I used to be very shy because, not because, uh, yeah, I used to be very shy and uh, at the same time, I have, a, uh, since I don't know Manipuri, uh, I used to be sit in a very, sit very quietly, not talking to anybody uh, for some time. And after that, I have to, I have started learning Manipuri and then I started adjusting the environment. Uh, after that, I have to uh, look for a job uh, to support myself because my family, as I have told you, that they are, you know, farmers, they don't have uh, much source of income. Uh, I have to find a way to, you know, support myself and my family being the eldest in a family, I have lots of responsibilities. So I have, uh, I started working in uh, DDK, tuition. That was my first job. Uh, um, when I was doing my first year graduation, I started working there as a um, TV presenter. That time I have faced lots of difficulties because I don't know Manipuri. So the channel is only speaking in Manipuri, so I have to, you know, um, write down the Manipuris and I have to buy hard it and I have to present it. That was my first time uh, speaking Manipuri in front of the camera. So I have a lot of difficulties uh, that time. And yeah. Uh, I know nothing about, you know, um, the life of a uh, city and I, I have no fashion sense and all at that time. So from many angles, I face a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. So you were trying to fit in because you felt that, you know, you didn't see anybody from your village. The language was different. People were different, yeah. and like you said, you were very shy, and you know, you, uh, were just trying to uh, watch and learn and survive um, because you wanted to earn money too um, you know, for your family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, and yeah, yeah, and I like talking about this because you know our show, like a lot of young people watch, and uh, it is very important for us to relay back uh, that they are not alone. We all have faced this, right? Um, yeah. And for people who are right now in a hostel, they would be more kinder and accepting to somebody who may be a minority, right? Um, yeah. So yeah, so that reminds me. So my house in Imphal. Um, after we were four siblings, we are four siblings, and we all went out of Manipur to get our education. So my parents, when they were retired, they had made our house into a girl's hostel. Okay. And so there were this young, beautiful, smart 
girls from all over in Manipur, from different towns and uh, different ethnic groups, different religion. And um, it was not many students, uh, but, you know, maybe more than 10, uh, less than 20. And so I used to mingle so much with them. And that's how actually my inspiration of starting Finding the Voices started. And mm -hmm. um, I remember like when you say, right, like, you know, would come out from your space, from your village and come out and everything is new. But that's how we learn, right? Uh, yeah, of yeah. different uh, people, different world, different language. And so, yeah, thank you for sharing that. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, Pankul Beats. So tell us a little bit uh, about about your work, um, and and then we can talk a little more details. Uh, you know, uh, picking up some of your design. Okay. Oh, yeah. First of all, yeah, Tanku uh, Naga is you know culturally rich, and uh, yeah, I am proud of it. But I, you know, being a girl who came from a very uh, vulnerable family, it's always difficult to, you know, uh, wanted, I always wanted to wear it and use it, but they were not easily available and it's comparatively very expensive. So um, there was a time where I could not even... Uh, able to buy a uh, necklace or earrings because uh, even my mom doesn't have one and I really admired uh, them and I wanted to wear it so uh, one thing like I told myself that why shouldn't I can make it if people can uh, make it so uh, I started thinking of it and I was making uh, traditional products for myself. Yeah. Uh, we can see, you know, uh, even though we have a very beautiful and attractive um, culture, we go crazy with uh, Western fashion and submit our, you know, submit ourselves to their stars. But I see no reason why we should abandon our beautiful culture and go crazy with their styles. Yeah. And I believe that we should never forget our culture. And yeah, we should impress. Yeah, of course, there is uh, changes, positive changes, but we should embrace it. Embrace uh, the positive changes happening in the fashion world. Yeah. So I wanted to promote the beauty of my culture so this is the main reason why i start this business i wanted to promote our beautiful uh, culture and tradition and i want to encourage my people to wear them uh, love them with pride and show it to the world yeah okay so you mentioned two things right one mm. is the young people are adapting to the Western um, fashion and clothing. Mm -hmm. And then you also mentioned that many people want to wear the ethnic clothes and um, of Tankul, but it is expensive. Mm -hmm. So what I'm hearing is we do see a relation of um, why probably, you know, people, a lot of people do the judgment that, hey, you know, the children are uh, now becoming and adopting Western clothes and look, and that may be because of the cost too. And they are yeah, easily because available. Because too, yeah, Got it. because some cookies are not easily available because there is no... Yeah, uh, oh my God, yeah. yeah, that's a very lovely if point you have some... brought up. Because I know that a lot of people point fingers and say that, hey, you know, our children are becoming more westernized. And one of the reasons is the mm. cost. Because some of yeah. the clothing are so easily available, are cheaper, yeah. 
and you are right you know i don't yeah. know when you say like how much it is right even like for my my tai manipuri um loadings like one of the fane would cost very um you know a uh, lot of money even the fee and now of course like there are different um price ranges people can afford right um mm. so yeah tell me about the price when you were growing up you said even your mother could not afford and would not even um you know own one of the necklaces so how what is the general cost of the necklace and um yes okay basically you know there are more uh, uh, there there are very few you know maker handicraft uh, but there are lots of buyers so the um, they could not the sellers you know they could not afford afford to supply the demand so the main reason is uh, we need to have more people you know to make the stuffs so that uh, the products will be you know easily available at the same time more cheaper uh during those days so there are only some few i can count with my fingers few you know how uh, handy work like um handmade uh people but there are lots of people who buying coming uh, people coming to buy uh, from them only and you know our pizza are not you know um, display in the shop there are only some few shop is there which available this uh, the tanko traditional pizza and crisps and all so the main is i can see the main reason is because there are uh, very few people who make the stuffs and lots of buyers is there mm -hmm. uh, and then um uh and then the the other reason is um we you know uh those raw materials are not available here in in manipur they are uh you know brought from timapur and other places so it's not easily available we, it takes time to reach uh, in our town so um, they charge the transportation and all but nowadays i think it's all available in infa so uh, it's more cheaper than comparing to those days <clears throat> and uh, i think if we have more people who make the stuffs in our town uh, the products will be more cheaper and more easily available in the town also and um, the price is strange so it depends on the quality there are lots of quality available in the shop uh, the cheaper qualities and the you know precious stone is there so it depends the price so it depends on the products and the size yeah bigger size smaller size is there so it depends on that okay so i'm going to read out you know some of the things what you have mentioned and which i want to reemphasize because you know i really love your uh, mission and vision right so what you are mm -hmm. saying is that you know we usually bring our cultural attire and item at high cost and we store mm -hmm. it away and we use it only on rare occasion right maybe a wedding or maybe yeah, yeah. some very special occasion and we cannot call this culturally rich and you are taking that it is your personal responsibility to change this to make it mm -hmm. contemporary to make it an everyday wear to make it mm -hmm. you know um to change the scenery of fashion because for everyday wear people are ad adopting to more western um uh, uh, you know clothing and accessories and so what your vision is if you have it more available and at a price which is reasonable then younger people will adopt to it and yeah. of course it will always have the linkage that you know this are tankul um yeah 
uh, products. These are this has a story, and that's how you are trying to do it. Yeah, I love it. I, and you're absolutely yeah. right about uh, you know the change in the uh, clothing because people do buy what they can afford and what is available, yeah. right? So it yeah, is very yeah. important that we market it, we make it available, and at a <laughs> range where people can buy it. Um, uh, so yeah, love, love your thought and love your aim and uh, ob objective. Um, yeah, so well, let me, I, you know, yes, mm -hmm. go ahead. Since it's available uh, very costly, people, we don't want to wear it occasionally. In our, yes. uh, we don't want to wear it daily because, you know, those are precious, you know, clothes, those are precious, very precious accessories. We need to keep it for, you know, special and rare occasions. So we used to do like that. We, uh, many people don't afford it, but some people afford it, but they are not wearing it occasionally. So we don't know that we have uh, such a beautiful accessories and dress and all. We hardly know that. And, you know, uh, we all go crazy and, you know, buy stuff which is easily available in the market, which is, which is very cheap and affordable. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, I want to change this one, maybe a little bit, um, even though um, for a little, I want to, you know, bring changes regarding this one. Uh, uh, we used to buy earrings, necklace, whatever it is from uh the market which is not our accessories actually that's correct but we we bought it and wear it like every on a daily yeah. basis yeah and we forgot that we have such kind of beautiful you know necklace and earrings and yeah that. we forgot that we overlooked that and yeah you know uh but these days, I can see lots of uh, changes. People started wearing it daily on a daily basis because you know more people are coming up, making you know our own using making jewelries using our own bits. So um, it's um, you know big. Uh, it's a good news, I think. Yeah, no, no, it's because people like you are coming out, right? Like uh, yeah. new thoughts, new ideas, like you said. Um, when there is the supply then mm -hmm. i also believe that there will be demand so we have to increase the supply for our yeah. product and then also we all have to support each other because when we support each other it will go beyond your community it will go nooks and corners of manipur and then beyond right um, yeah outside Manipur and all over the world. So yeah, love that, love it, love it. So yeah. should I, I want to share um, some of the pictures um, and we can talk a little bit about, uh, you know, about Ankul um, attires and, um, and learn more, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to present okay. um, screen. So from what you're saying, it looks like, you know, there are specific uh, attire to be worn, you know, during the wedding. And those yeah. are fixed, right? Just like in uh, Maitai marriage too, there are specific jewelry design yeah. we wear. And so, yeah, uh, go ahead. Yeah, um, there are specific ornaments of which we use during the wedding day. Uh, but People, you know, our people hardly use uh, this on our wedding day. We use uh, Western, we adapt Western culture. So we use white count and black shoot, which is not our culture, which is not our, you know, uh, we should, you know, do in that way. But we, uh, you know, uh, most people, to wear that white gown and black shirt and this traditional attire they wear it well uh, after marriage after marriage uh, the girl you know the uh, the bride will move to uh, the groom's house no so during that shifting time like uh, uh, 
be, before she actually step into his family uh, have you seen ma'am like the uh, after wedding after the wedding ceremony mm -hmm. uh, the bride will move to the groom's family during that is time this, we mm -hmm. usually wear this one wear is this a picture ah, yes is this yeah, a picture I, uh no not this one Maybe are, let me pull up. I know you had sent me a link of your wedding. Is this a what is this you're wearing here? Is this a uh, wedding my wedding? Costume? Yeah, my wedding. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. So this is what you wore not during the wedding, but when you were sent off no, no. to your uh to the groom's place after the wedding. No, it, uh, I used this um dress for my wedding plus. Uh, you know, mm, bought in port. Got it. Okay, so what you were explaining to us is nowadays because the Western culture has um, been imbibed by the people, you know, during the ceremony, people are wearing like the Western white gown and yeah. you know, the boys are wearing black suit. And then yeah. when the, the bride would go to the groom's place, they are wearing the traditional dress. But what you're yeah. saying is in your case, you, because for your love, for your culture, yeah. you wore your traditional mm -hmm. dress both for your wedding as well as, you know, for that ceremony where you went from your house to the boy's house. This is so beautiful. Yeah. So can you mm -hmm. explain to us, like, you know, what are the different attire, what you're wearing here with the names? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm wearing uh, that kong sang that big necklace one we have a uh, big necklace for head and mm. for neck yeah two kong sang is there kong sang that big necklace which is 16 line for wedding so we wear it on our, our head and one on our neck and the ring one we have to we hang it on our shoulder there yeah shoulder okay. and then um we have komsim. Komsim, though, it's uh, we wore it around our waist, no? above the panek. Okay. On the, on the top of our panek, we wear it on that. And then we um, have one shawl, raibat. You know, raibat, uh, that's shawl, P. Okay, got it. Raibat, uh, yeah, we, we wear that. And that panek one is a. Uh, Seijung, Seijung Panek. And there is one uh, har, that bangle, no? We wear it over here. Uh, okay. Do you have the picture of the full attire with the fanek? Uh, I think I I have. Uh, the bangle no, is not visible because of the uh, shawl. Yeah, this picture, what you have for your wedding is very beautiful. Oh, yes, you sent me the picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, wow, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to share this. You can see. Yeah, that's the, yeah I can see it. Yeah, that wow, one. this is so beautiful. So you are wearing this two big, necklace one on the head one yeah. on the uh, neck. neck and then you have mm -hmm. this ring like golden uh, which yeah, is worn yeah. only by the bride yeah yeah okay but mm -hmm. is this necklace worn on the head and the neck i see the other bride mates also wear it can anybody wear at any time or is it only for wedding ceremony yeah anybody can wear it Anybody can wear it in any occasion, right? But we mostly wear it during wedding. Okay, uh, got it. Some people wear it uh, during beauty pageant and all. Okay. And then this is what you are saying, the one on the waist. Yeah, that comes in the white and black. No? Yeah. Okay, got it. And then, yeah, so can you... Um, now that we have the picture, can you repeat for us the name of each of this attire one more time, please? Thank you. Okay, so the uh, Kong Sang, 
that necklace which is which i put on the head and on the neck it's same one it's same piece kong sang i think mm -hmm. i have kong mentioned I, yep yeah kong sang and then uh, that ring one a long chain of ring uh, hangs from hat that is called hui shon okay hui shon yeah and uh hui shon and the next one is kom sim which we wear it on our waist above mm -hmm. the neck yeah kom sim and kom sim yeah I uh, and I use one you know uh, that working stick metal working stick is there no can you notice it like say thing we call it say thing okay Zhe got shu. it yeah this one this metal okay yeah metal working stick we call it, yeah say thing we call it say thing it's a you know met metal uh, working stick uh yeah this is traditionally used by the women folk okay mm -hmm. and then uh the bangles um bangles so it's not visible in the picture because it's inside you know it's covered by the uh, p mm -hmm. mm. We call it har, H A R. We call it har that uh, bangles. Okay. We put three on the other side, three, three, three. Okay. And then the name of the fee and the fanic? Uh, yeah, the fee, it's rivat, rivat, and the panic is seijung. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. So you are wearing on the neck and the head Hong Sang, and then yeah. you are wearing this ring from head to it's very long, right? It's head yeah. to yeah, yeah, yeah. Toe, called Hui Son, and then you yeah. are wearing the waist called Hong yeah. Sang. Mm -hmm. Then you have the metal walking stick called Chai Ping. Yeah. Then you yeah, have three see. bangles on each of your hand. And the beautiful yeah. tea is called Rai Ban. Rai Rai and, Bat, yeah. And Pai Jan. Oh, that is the, uh, you know, that is the phonic, the uh, wrap around what you're wearing. So mm -hmm. when you say, said, right, uh, you wear three bangles on each of your hand, is that like, would, would a lady wear only three? Or is that something? specific or some i guess meaning mm. wearing only three uh no there is uh some people wear it two two no pair pair but okay. uh, people say that they usually wear it three three on both hands got it and what is the significance of the metal walking stick the chai thing metal walking stick though in olden times you know the, the women folk they used to uh they use while going to battlefields, battle, I mean, battlefields, and you know, um, for defending themselves. For defending, defending them. themselves. Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah. That's what I thought but when now, I saw. Yeah. <laughs> it's like for protection. Yeah. yeah, it's a metal and it's heavy at the same time. Uh, but nowadays we don't use it while going to battlefields, but we use it as, you know, uh, it has now become a conventional for pride to carry during the fest uh, during the wedding. Mm, got it. All right. So, is this picture taken when you were going from your house to the groom's house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is where all your friends, family would walk with you. Yeah, yeah. My bridesmaid. Yeah, my family. My villagers. They all work together with me, and we we stepped towards uh, the groom's house. Got it. 
project. So I'm going to bring another picture. And I'm going to bring up your wedding picture just so that everybody can see how the bride and groom looks. OK. So congratulations. This was last year. Uh, yeah. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. So was this during the ceremony or is it yeah. the reception? No, during the ceremony, wedding ceremony. OK. So can you brief everybody on how your, um, you know, uh, about the wedding ceremony? OK, so we initially we start you know, uh, before waiting, since I have started this business, you know, uh, we planned of our wedding in such a way that just before that we were planning of, you know, wearing Western gowns and good, but then uh, we change our mind, uh, saying that since I am so much into our culture and since I love my culture and tradition. Why not we wear our own culture dress and, you know, uh, uh, show our show the beautiful culture dresses uh, to the people. Yeah, my um, we started planning our wedding. Starting from wedding card, we use the team uh, our we use the team uh, we use the culture team as our wedding so we uh, make our wedding card using uh, the picture of some traditional clothes bits and all uh, i think i didn't share my wedding cards to you ma'am uh, starting from wedding cards wedding dress wedding decor uh, even the feast you know we cook in a traditional way so everything is uh based on traditional tradition mm -hmm. of our culture. Uh, yeah that's beautiful so this yeah. would be a tankul wedding yeah tankul wedding so what i'm seeing is the boys right like they also wear is this kong kong sang what uh, your yeah, husband kong -sang. is wearing is there a difference yeah, between the boy's design and the girl's design? Yeah, ma'am, it's different. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's different. The boy uh, Kong Sang is the bit size is bigger than uh, the pride. Mm, yeah. You the can see from the bigger. picture. Yeah, it's bigger. And yeah. even the design is a little bit different. OK. So mm. what about the color scheme of this? Uh, design is that fixed the Kong Sang? Would it yeah, always the be color, this color, right? Yeah, we have you know uh, three uh, state Tanko statement <gasps> color that is white, steel, which is like commonly called blue color, and then coffee color. Huh? Those three mm -hmm. colors are you know, uh, we call it Tanko bit. I see. Mostly, yeah, those white, uh, coffee and blue. Steel. Yeah, this steel color. Steel. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And the number of, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, the thread hanging, that is also uh, fixed, right? Mm, for boys, it's usually uh, six, five or six lines. Got it. Five or six lines. And then for uh, girls? 16 lines for women. Oh, OK. Yeah, 16. And people used to wear it even smaller or mm, smaller than that size. But you know, uh, people say that it's 16. 16, 16 okay. is the most appropriate one, yeah. OK. And then what about the head accessory, what your husband is wearing? Mm, head, which one? The head accessory. What is uh, this yeah, ball that's and same line? Yeah, same line. Sixteen, sixteen line. That. 
Okay, perfect. Beautiful. I love that. And I love uh, both of your ideas on uh, deciding together, you know, to uh, to go on the cultural, to go back to your roots um, yeah. and bring out, you know, the culture, what you have. It's beautiful. And I have seen a couple of pictures before and I just love it. And like you said, um, mm -hmm. you know, when you ask for the price, it is expensive, right? And so that's why yeah. I think many people don't buy it. Um, but if there are others which could be worn on an everyday, uh, obviously it will not be the same as the precious, uh, you know, yeah, beads yeah. that you are using. But it would mm -hmm. be somewhere close, affordable, and still you are retaining your culture, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. yeah. All right, so let's go and watch some of your product now that we have. No, no, before that, I want to go into the um, into that document, which you have uh, given some information about uh, the design and just so that all of us know, you know, each of this design. So let's go through that. After that, we'll go in your Instagram account and I want to look into your design. Okay. Okay, so this is a document which uh, talks about the different uh, designs and um, actually, if you can, uh, you know, voice over and tell us about each of this design. So this is the cuisson which we saw in your wedding picture, right? When I saw only this, I didn't know how big was. Head, but now that I saw your wedding picture, it's you know all the way from yeah it goes down head to toe yeah. Hmm. So what is the significance of this uh, chain? Uh, I don't know about much about the significance, but then um, I asked some of the you know um, elder. They hmm. said it it's it's usually wear it during a uh, wedding that's it that's uh, it so then it, it yeah. is is it uh, rented is it uh, you don't own it when when there is a wedding like you rent it from someone yeah you use it only once like only for that wedding right yeah only for wedding day or oh, only on wedding day but um, we can wear it if we have like special occasion to showcase our culture mm. uh, and during the beauty pageant they used to wear it but okay. we hardly wear this uh which on and all no? but comsim though we used to wear it when we have a special occasion we can wear it on our waist and we can join uh any occasion but the which on though we can't wear it everywhere uh, yeah, right. We have to handle it with our both hands and we have to hang it on our, you know, head. So it takes, you know, uh, sudden risks right. to wear that particular accessory store. So, so mm, what people, is this material? Is this, is this gold it, or what is it? Not, not actually a gold. Uh, It's maybe gold plated. Yeah, it's uh, I think it's imported from outside. Okay. The ring, no, and we make the the design this way. The Got ring, it. though, I think it's exported from outside. Okay. Okay. So next one is the bangle, which we did not see in your wedding picture, but this is the tankul traditional bangle set har, which you were referring. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So you wear uh, it when you say the bangle, you're wearing it on your wrist, right? You're not wearing yeah, it on your arm. Yeah, yeah. Arm. Oh, we, that's uh, what yeah. I got confused. So you wear it yeah. on the arm, not on the wrist. Yeah, on, yeah, on the arm. Got it. Got yeah. it. Yeah. So do you have to wear this only for the wedding, or is it traditionally like could you wear it on a daily basis too? Mm, uh, I have seen it. The, you know, my grandmother used to wear it every day. 
yeah, uh, on a I daily basis. So. But nowadays, I think most of the youngsters they don't wear it. Even yeah. my mom didn't wear it, but my grandmother they uh, they used to wear it. All kind of ornaments, and they you know yeah. stay at home like that. Yeah, no, now that you're bringing me memories, I think I remember seeing, that's why I was like, I don't remember in dress. Yeah. I grew up a little bit in Chirachanpur, so okay. I was exposed to um, mingling, you know, with our uh, tribal brother and sisters, and I think I remember some grandma wearing it on the arm, yeah, yeah. you know, mm. and this is they metal, were... right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so then the next one is the Komsin, which is chain-like jewelry consisting of multiple line lines, mm -hmm. which is worn by the woman folk around the waist on top yeah. of her other clothes. It is usually worn in traditional wedding, but it is also used in other cultural events. Yeah. Yeah, so this okay. one, I have not seen it very commonly. And that okay. may be because I have not gone for a wedding. Okay. I have gone for a wedding, but when I was very small, so I didn't really pay attention, I think, to the waist, uh, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, those white color, that one is a seashell actually, you know, seashell. Yeah, seashell. yeah that seashell, we make a hole uh, and then we, you know, beat it with uh, those, you can see the black one, those blacks are, uh, glass beads only. Glass. Okay. We mix with glass glass beads and the seashell using a white thread. You know, okay. We beat it and make a design that way, according Got to it. the size. Huh? According to the size. That's beautiful. And this is the Kong San. Yeah, which yeah. I yeah. want to have. And do you make this? Yeah, I made that. I really want this. It's oh, so beautiful. Okay. I, I could definitely see myself wearing this, um, you know, uh, when we go out, um, even in an office party, you know, yeah. some nice event I go to. So I definitely want to have this. And if you're making it, I'm placing my order now. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. I'll make it for you, man. Yeah. Okay, so this is the traditional necklace of Tankul Naga. It is worn during marriage and other festive mm -hmm. occasion. Another variant of Kong San can be seen worn from head from yeah. the head by the bride and her bridesmaid during her wedding. Yeah. So this is the 16 line you were talking about, yeah, right? Six, yeah. 16, yeah, yeah. That is the correct uh, you know, number. And yeah, then nice. you also spoke about the color scheme where yeah. uh, the three colors are the important colors for the samples, the white, yeah. the coffee color, and the teal color. Uh, and then uh, there is one orange uh, oval shape is there. Yeah, this one. That's that's the precious stone. That's a precious stone. Okay, got yeah. it. Mm. And... Uh, you know, you know what? Just give me a moment. Yeah. So why don't you explain this? Um, like when you make it, how do you make it? Since I know that this is also included in your product line. It is yeah. handmade, right? Yeah, handmade. Hi. I wanted yeah. to show you this. And I don't know what kind of, what is this? This is gifted by one of my tribal friends. Uh, that's you Kapui, recognize? I think. Huh? Yeah. Kabui? That's a, yeah, Kabui. Not Kabui. Ah, Kabui. okay. Yeah, so you could pick out from the beads what tribe it belongs to. Yeah. Oh, that's so be. beautiful. So yeah, okay, wow. So I'm going to wear this for now <laughs> to honor our okay. tribal brother and sister. Yeah, I got this. I In fact, actually, my mother got it and I flicked it, I should yeah. say. <laughs> yeah. Because it's so beautiful. Um. Oh, this is so beautiful. So I guess what you're saying, the orange precious stone, yeah, what yeah. you have there that is one. something like this, like which you have yeah. as part of the pattern. Ah, I see. Yeah. Lovely. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What else do you have? Oh, 
So this is the Kongsang design for men called Mayar Cha. Mayar means yeah. men and Cha means necklace. necklace. Yeah. So this is the one similar to what your husband was wearing in the wedding? Yeah, yeah. Similar to that one. Okay. And then here I see it is five line. Yeah. So could it be yeah, more line. than five line? Yeah, more than five also. It's okay, got so it. We can make it. So would men generally five. wear it only for the wedding or could this also be worn in some special occasion? Yeah. Yeah. In any special occasion you can wear it. It's heavy, so we don't want to wear the big size in you know uh, in our in our daily life. So Got the it. big size one we usually wear it on occasion and the small size so we can wear it every day. Huh? Got it, got it. All right. All right, so that is for uh the designs, the popular designs of Tankul. And now I'm going to bring up your uh, Instagram page and let's go over some of your products. Okay. For all our listeners, um, you know, do check up Instagram Tankul Beats, um, which is uh, the product line designed and handmade by Pamchuyo and Kasta. I'm very excited to hear about all her designs, so let's check it out. Okay, so you have <clears throat> rings also, and then yeah. Um, yeah, Renya, I love this design. Is this like a contemporary design or any? Yeah. I used to customize, uh, people used to, you know, uh, deal their design to make uh, their, uh, to make for them. So uh, according to their, you know, design, I made them. Got it. And, you know, these are the waist chain and then this is the main chain and then you also have like very simple single line if people want yeah, you know it has a single line yeah. very nice uh, a single line is one of my highest sales so far okay it's very cheap um, it, so people okay so you're uh, saying this people... is like if people are thinking about the price range it's only 110 rupees yeah okay and this one this is the one for the men design this goes around mm. 2500 yeah and you can also see actually the quality of the beads yeah the quality right? depends on the quality of the beads yeah yeah okay so this is for the men so definitely for our men listener would love to see men wearing some accessories and posting pictures. Uh, oh, wow, you have a matching earring set too. Yeah. Okay. So now when when Pam Chui was talking about price, right, and availability, you see this necklace and the earring, it's available only for 550 yeah this is yeah. an affordable price range right for any yeah. young people to afford so yeah i really love that you are coming up and making it available so how do people order and how can it be delivered so can you talk a little bit about that while we are yeah people contact through my instagram instagram account and i uh put my number in my profile so people used to uh order through my WhatsApp number and Instagram inbox. Okay, and then you would deliver it if they want yeah. it from outside. I deliver. Yeah, even outside Manipur, I put, I do postal for outside Manipur. Mm -hmm. So this is the other design, and this is a sixteen line design. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Which, which is really beautiful. Wow. Yeah. 
Hong Sam. I learned so much today. Yeah, this is the one I want, the 16 line. Okay, I'll make for you, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, and I want a matching earring to go with that. Yeah, Could yeah, yeah. Something like this. Yeah. Yeah, very beautiful. I'll make it according to your choice. Uh, any plan to come back to Manipur, ma'am? I generally come once a year, but unfortunately last year was COVID. But this year I'm yeah, hoping yeah. that, you know, everybody okay. will get the vaccine and will be more safer traveling. And I definitely want to explore Manipur, as I said, and visit villages. I yeah. want to see the lily blooming. Oh, wow. Look at this design. I love it. Yeah. And then you have different color scheme. Yeah. But you are <clears throat> you are maintaining the core color scheme of the tankul beads, the white, blue, yeah. orange, mm -hmm. copper yeah. color. Yeah, love that. Yeah, this is also very nice. Mm. <clears throat> because this is very simple, like you know, like what I'm wearing also, I could wear it like even when I go to the office, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. And is this a bracelet? Oh no, it's a chokar. It's for the neck. Chokar. Yeah. yeah. For neck. So to everybody, do check out the Instagram and um, support. Uh, you know our design. Um, not only it is supporting economically, but also it is. Um, introducing reintroducing to the youth that yes you know this are our design our traditional design and um, use it for daily wear i love this design also yeah very colorful simple design and what i would say about your accessory is even when you wear a very simple dress when you accessorize yourself with this colorful uh, necklace and earring um, you would uh, you know your look will be elevated instantly <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I love that and you also have this bangles yeah yeah very nice looks very rustic and reminds me of uh, your village and the grandmas I have seen. Yeah, grandmas. Yeah, so pretty. Okay, let's look at one of this picture. Uh, isn't it pretty, right? Everybody yeah. wearing cultural dress with the necklace. Uh, oh, yeah, the, this they is are actually the choir member. Choir members. Yeah, very yeah. nice. Cool. All right, so uh, thank you so much for sharing about your design. Is there anything you wanted to mention which I did not ask? Mm, I think you cover everything, ma'am. Thank you okay, so good. much. All right, that. so yeah. I know we are at time, but um, as you know, I am um, doing a project on gratitude. Um, where mm -hmm. I wanted everybody to start practicing gratitude, where we pause and say thank you to the people around us, thank you to people of Manipur who are doing something for Manipur. And also it's a very um, good practice for self uh, in terms of your personal growth. So I definitely wanted to invite you to share your gratitude for somebody at your personal level and for somebody at the level of Manipur. Okay. Okay, so um, thank you. First of all, I would like to thank um, ma'am for this opportunity. And as I have mentioned in my previous, that this is my first time talking about me, talking about my business. So yeah, uh, we need to support each other. And uh, we need to, you know, encourage one another to love one another uh, and you know uh, since we live in 
in uh you know Yes, definitely. We have to support each other. And uh, I think your initiative, what you have done, right, is yeah. really nice. And we need to uh, make it more spread, not only like in Manipur, not only in Impal, not only in Ukrul, but in other places, right? Uh, yeah. So that everybody start using our culturally linked design. Um, yeah. And it will not be lost. So yeah, yeah, love it. And yeah, the main thing I want to mention is uh, we need to support, you know, this handmade culture also, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, to have self-employment. Yes. Means, uh, you know, nowadays uh, the government could not uh, afford to give job to every household. So we need to find our skills and we need to explore ourselves to support ourselves so yeah that's it yeah absolutely you know not depending on a government job but asking ourselves how can i earn money right yeah. And yeah. I am assuming that, you know, with your creativity, with your connection through Instagram, you have got customers and it has helped you provide an additional stream of income than your professional uh, life, right? Yeah. And people has been so good to me so far. Like, uh, they love my handmade. And, yeah. And, you know, yeah, they give lots of good compliment regarding my handmade, my, you know, prices and all because I give them uh, with a very reasonable prices and with a very good quality. I use only um, metal things like I don't use thread anymore. Thread is, you know, somehow cheaper than metal. No? And so uh, they really appreciate my work. So thank you so much to all my customers, fans and all. And thank you. Yeah, definitely. I yeah, and to all the future customers, like, you know, we have to be supportive of uh, handmade, as you have said, and also which is linked to our culture. Uh, because yeah. if we don't wear it ourselves, then who would, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so it. we have to be very so, proud to be wearing our uh, clothes, our designs. Yeah. So love it. And um, Chewy has made it uh, her responsibility to make it easily available, affordable. And now it is our responsibility to wear it beautifully and promote it to the rest of the world. Yeah. And um, yeah, I wanted to thank my. Uh, family who has been supporting me constantly uh, you know since day one they are very much you know uh, encouraged to do this job so and my husband who inspired me to start this business and so far so good so I really wanted to thank him also Yeah, definitely. I love that your uh, husband encouraged you, uh, you know, in pursuing your passion. And uh, so big shout out to him. Um, yeah. All right. So do you want to nominate somebody at the level of Manipur? For gratitude? For Thagacheri? Uh uh, I would like to give my gratitude to, yeah, um, I think Jeff Minister. Okay. I'm big, I'm a big fan of him, uh, you know. He's been so vocal, especially to Hilly people. So yeah. he wants to bring uh, unity between Hill and Valley. So I really appreciate that. And he also encouraged... Um, this handy works a uh, uh, handmade business so he looks into lots of small small things he focuses on lots of you know these things also so i really appreciate that and one day i think i will be able to get um 
opportunity to exhibit my products uh, here in Infal also. I exhibit my products in Okru only so far, so I think I will get the opportunity to exhibit here in Infal area also, so hopefully. Yeah, definitely. I, I love your nomination of the chief yeah. minister. We have had uh, several nominations, so big targetary to our chief minister of Manipur, N. Biren Singh, who has been um, so vocal, as you said, right? Mm -hmm. um, before, when there was some problem in Manipur, I used to find it so difficult to find out the truth, you know, the coverage, but now you can easily get access to what is happening by following him in his uh, Facebook and other social media account. Um, so yeah. I do see that he is very open and um, connected to the people of Manipur and also creating that content for the rest of the world. Um, yeah. I also see that, as you have mentioned, um, his initiative and hard work in bringing unity and unifying the different um, diversity Manipur has, right, in yeah, terms yeah, of yeah. different tribes, language, dialect. And so I think you did a great job uh, with that. Um, and you mentioned that he also encourages uh, local handiworks, um, you know, promoting uh, the people of Manipur and the products uh, so that yeah, people yeah. can grow. So yeah, absolutely love, love your nomination. So a big targetary to our chief minister and Biren Singh. Um, yeah. Manipur definitely has still to grow, but we are with a good leader. Uh, you know, you can see a lot of good things following us. All right. Yeah. So with that, uh, we will conclude today's show. Thank you so much for coming to our show my best wishes and uh, good luck on your business line uh, with your good intent and true heart i know that your products are going to go places uh, making everybody who's wearing look so beautiful feel beautiful and proud that yeah. you know when you wear that you are getting in touch with your culture your roots uh, so thank you thank you thank you yeah, thank you so much, Mayor, for, for this opportunity. And I'm sure we'll meet uh, someday after yes. this pandemic. And, yes, yeah. when I come there and when I want to go to see the Siri Lily, I will contact you and um, you know you will help me uh, facilitate yeah. my travel over there. I want to experience yeah. being in the village, staying in the village, eating the local foods uh, and you know meeting the people. Um, yeah, so yeah. thank you for your uh, invite. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and to all our listeners, yeah. um, you know, we have still so much to learn, right? Today in our episode, yeah. we learned a little bit about Bankul beads and a little bit about, you know, what kind of clothes, what kind of uh, beautiful accessories you wear. So even amongst ourselves, we have lots to learn. So um if there are people, if there are no, uh, if there are groups we have not covered in people of Manipur, we want to hear. So let's work together as a team. If you want to see somebody in our show, then uh, it is your show. It is not my show. It, I'm just facilitating it. So I want to welcome everybody. Let's get to know each other. And I've got tremendous feedback from our listeners. Thank you to our listeners. Um, that we have learned so much from the people of Manipur series and we want to continue doing that. So with that, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you, Juri, and I look forward to wearing your accessories soon. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.